Good evening, and welcome to Creative Broadcasting, the station of unlimited possibilities. Presents Creating Your Seat at the Table with your host, Ashley Little, as she welcomes her guest to the table. Welcome to Creating Your Seat at the Table. I am your host, Dr. Ashley Little. A little bit about myself, corporate executive by day, serial entrepreneur by night, CEO and founder of Ashley Little Enterprises, LLC, and founder and owner of Talk Radio and TV Network, LLC. Tonight, we have an amazing special VIP guest by the name of Elena Anna Lee. She is known as the Black Bill Gates. So a little bit about her. Those are just a few of the words used to describe Elena Wicker, who, who at 12 years old is headed to college to major in mechanical engineering, but that's only part of her story. With a bold dream of becoming the youngest girl of color to work an intern at NASA, Elena is also using her voice by launching the Brown Film Girl, and she is also the founder of the Brown Film Girl Foundation. Through the Brown Film Girl, Elena has received eight proclamations declaring April 30th as Brown Film Girl STEM in the City Day, honoring women of color in STEM. This day is also set aside to engage girls of color ages 10 through 17 in STEM activities and will be hosted all across the United States of America. Elena has received inter- international recognition through her features on Good Morning America, the Kelly and Ryan Show, Black Entertainment Television, and a host of news outlets throughout the world. Elena was not only both traditionally schooled and homeschooled, but she was also world schooled. She's an experienced world traveler, which enabled her to attend school in Ammon, the capital of Jordan, a city located in the Middle East. Legos, robotics, and NASA are the things that excite Elena. It started at four years old when she began traveling to NASA sites to fuel her passion. Those words don't fully describe the essence of Elena Wicker. Her intellectual brilliance is only a glimpse into who she is. It's the depth of her warm heartness, quiet spirit, and gracious nature that sets her, her even more apart. With a clear vision, Elena is on the path to knock down doors for other brown stem girls just like her. Welcome, welcome to the table, the amazing, legendary Elena and Elise. Hello. <laughs> Hello, how are you? I'm good. You know, I am just so, so proud of you. Super congratulations on everything that you're doing. You're breaking glass ceilings. You're breaking, you're making history. And so I just want to know, how does it feel to graduate at 12 years old? It's exciting, but sometimes it is a little bit, like, wow, I just graduated (laughs) from high school. I mean, did you see it coming? I mean, tell tell us more about your journey. Um, when I did start seeing that I like was literally advancing through homeschool, I was like, I could graduate at any age because I'm smart. I <laughs> so know. I didn't really see it coming, but at the same time. I didn't know if I kept going, I could achieve my goal. And you did. You are history, okay? You made history, all right? Remember that. I'm so, so excited. And so you're passionate about Legos, robotics, you know. So tell us about your passions, some of your passions. Um, Ever since I was a child, I had many, like, little side talents. Like, how I would just sit there and build Legos for hours and look up at the stars, just do anything. I even like to, like, sport different types of sports. So, most of my passion is going into Legos because I built the Taj Mahal and the Millennium Falcon. I love it. I love it. And so, you know, you have one of the... Actually, the top STEM company, woman-owned, woman-owned STEM company in the United States. So can you tell us more about Brown STEM Girl? 
tell us about your your company and the foundation. Um, well, my organization is to support other brown girls in STEM. We are starting a foundation to give scholarships and education to girls 10 through 17, which I'm looking forward to helping the other girls through mentorship. So we have a lot of stuff coming up, and I'm really excited to challenge them all. I love it. I love it. And so with Brown STEM Girl, how does it feel to be able to reach back and help girls that are younger than you and are older than you, you know, get to that next level in the STEM field? You know, how does that feel? Okay. And mom, you're welcome to jump in at any time. <laughs> Me being able to give back the opportunity to other girls is giving me a way of saying I'm not just trying to help myself, but I'm trying to help others. And when I think about it, I'm like, if I could help myself, who else could I help in the world that could want the same thing as me? That's powerful. That That is so, so, so powerful. And I know you're getting ready to, and you're working on a, a big event for Brown Stem Girls. Correct, the foundation, you're working on a big event right now? Yes, ma'am. Our event will be, I think I have a conference. I have a conference. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I think I'll let my mom talk more about the event. <laughs> okay. So the event is Brown Sim Girl Sim in the City Day, which will be April 30th, 2022. And we're looking forward to hosting girls from all over the U.S. at the California Science Center. And it will also be Brown Sim Girl, Sim of the City Day, Disney. So Elena will be having a pinning ceremony for the scholars and just different workshops. And we're just looking forward to it. It's going to be amazing, an amazing opportunity for girls of color and STEM all over the U.S. to come to California. I love it. This is so, so powerful. I mean, super congratulations to you too, Mom. This is very, very powerful. And so when did, uh, you know, Elena come up with this amazing idea that she wants to start Brown STEM Girl? What, you know, what is, you know, when did she start the organization? How long has it been up? Because, I mean, I mean, look what she's getting ready to do. We already have proclamations. When did she start it? <laughs> I didn't hear the last thing you said. I'm sorry. I said, when did she create, you know, the, the company, the organization? So she already has proclamations. You know, this is amazing. How long has Brown Stem Girl been, you know, running? She actually just formed Brown Stem Girl this year. And it's been something that she's been working on. Um, her desire was to create a platform just for girls of color and STEM that are like her, as she calls them, brainiacs. And just to give them the same opportunity that's been given to her, you know, giving that back and just being able to reach back and pull the next girl forward and to show them that there's a place for you here in the world of STEM. And it's already, and it is the it's the top STEM company, woman-owned STEM company in the United States, correct? Yes, it is. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. This is just, I'm just, I get blown away each time, you know. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Uh, she just created it. I, I, I'm just speechless. This is powerful. I mean, Elena, you are yeah. amazing. You are amazing, okay? It's just, yeah, I, I'm really speechless right now. And so, <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm going to dig deeper here. Um, what do you want girls that are listening, you know, people that have, you know, I'm sure a lot of, you know, our listeners or parents that are listening too, um, to, to get from, you know, you. What are, what do you want girls your age? What are some words of motivation you would tell that, you know, your counterparts that are your age right now that, you know, might need some motivation because you are a living inspiration that anything can be done, that anything is possible, that you can achieve your dreams, and it doesn't matter how old you are. So what are some things that you want to share with, you know, um, older kids that are older than you and kids that are your age? 
to put those together, it doesn't even matter what age you are. It doesn't matter if you're older or you're younger or you just are in between. The point is, what is it that you want to do and how badly do you want it? And once you see how bad you want it, you see, can I actually do this? And am I up for it? And I'm going to be determined. So when I thought through my process, I said, if I'm, if I want this, I have to be determined and give it my all. And I did. So I challenge you to do the same thing. Wow. All about how bad you want it. I mean, I just love all the nuggets that you just shared. Because everybody can use these nuggets, right? It's all about how bad you want it and how hard you want to work for it. And I love that. And you've done just that. I just want to say super, super, super congrats to you. You are a history maker, game changer. I am definitely inspired. You have inspired people of all ages because, I mean, this is not – you don't hear this every day. I just want you to understand that you have done something very historical, okay? This is historical. Thank you. Do you understand that this is an historical – that you have made history? Yes, ma'am. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So what can we expect from you the rest of the year? And I know mom can jump in and, you know, let us know what, what you can share because I know that you are, you know, talking to a lot of different opportunities. But what can you share with us that we can expect from you the rest of the year? Um, you know, we're walking into getting ready to go into the third quarter. So what can we expect from you the rest of the year? Um. Okay. Can you repeat the question, please? Okay. What can we expect from you the rest of the year? Like, what else do you have coming up for the remainder of 2021? Mentorship programs and... Can you hear us? I'm sorry, because you're going yeah, in and I, out. We have... Yeah, I can hear you, Mom, a little bit. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we have mentorship programs going on throughout the year. Um, Her mentorship program, you can sign up online on her website. And then throughout the rest of this year, um, doesn't matter what state you're in. um, If you're between the ages of 12 and 17, you can sign up for her mentorship program. It's all virtual because of COVID. Um, You'll get one-on-one time with Elena and girls all over the U.S. And They're working on STEM projects. They're working on leadership skills. They're working on resume building. It's it's a whole program. I love it. I love it. Like, Elena, this is amazing. This is amazing. And how can they join and how can people support and give to Brown STEM Girl? How can they donate and partner to you all, to the foundation? Just simply go to the com, and you can give through there. Um, you can also find her on social media, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram at the Brown Stem Girl on all platforms. The scholarship it. website will actually go live on July 1st and close on September 1st. So it's a huge opportunity to be a part of the Scholarship Foundation, and it is one of the most prestigious scholarship foundations for girls of color in STEM. And you don't want to miss it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I have another question. One more question I want to ask because I, I just, I'm curious to see, and I know you have some amazing things planned, and Mom, let us know what we can share. Um, where do you see Brown STEM Girl in five years? Because it's already taken off. This is just, yeah. <laughs> Brown STEM girl five years. Forever was that far yet? <laughs> um, but if I were to look that far, you know what? I still don't even know. <laughs> Mom, you want to add something to it? <laughs> the way she's going right now, probably global and just creating a, what would you say, a global platform it's, for girls? <laughs> it could be. I'll just. Whoa, five, five years. So she's she's currently 
you know, working on building partnerships with major tech companies and firms. And so just being in the school system, creating programs in the school system, and yeah. Wow, I love it. I love it because you know what? In the STEM industry, it is not circulated definitely for people of color. And so you yeah. are really changing that narrative and really coming in to bring more people in with you and bring more people to the table. And that's what it's all about, Elena. So keep doing it, keep reaching back and helping others and serving others and inviting them to the table. This is just amazing, amazing. And how does it feel? to be going to college at 12. Are you ready? Like, how do you, are yes. you ready to be on the campus life and everything? Yes, I am very excited because we're thinking about next year, me actually going to the college. Yay. So I'm already thinking about the college life. So I'm already excited. So it's just You're all... going to love it. <laughs> yes, I will. Awesome. Well, tell yeah. our listeners how they can, and mom, jump in as well, how they can book you, book you for speaking opportunities, how they can go, you know, follow you on all social media platforms. Please tell our listeners how they're able to do that. All social media platforms, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Facebook is the Brown Sim Girl, T H E B R O W M, excuse me, T H E B R O W N. S T E M G I R L website is www.thebrownstemgirl.com. And did I miss anything, Elena? No. She's on Twitter, yeah. but we don't really tweet yeah. a lot. So if you really want to know what's going on, Instagram, and Facebook. Yeah, Instagram and Facebook. So. She has a couple of things coming up this weekend. You guys may want to tune in because she's surprising the girl in STEM on Saturday. So we're always doing cool stuff over here. <laughs> I love it. Well, make sure you all tune in, follow, and support this amazing, legendary history maker, the Black Bill Gates, Elena Annalise. So make sure you follow her, support her, remember her name because she is history, Okay. This has been an amazing interview. I'm excited. Every time I speak with you all, I get more blown away, okay? Didn't know that you created this company this year, and oh, my God, it's already the top <laughs> stem one-owned company in the United States. That's amazing. That's, like, unheard of, okay? <laughs> and so I look forward to continuing to support you all and bringing you back to the table and I know that the sky, there is no limits, okay, on what you're about to do and what you're going to continue to do. So much success, much support, and I cannot wait to see all that God is going to continue to do for you and your family. Thank you. You are welcome. And congratulations again. <laughs> and, Mom, congratulations to you as well, and thank you. Thank you so much for this opportunity, Dr. Ashley. We appreciate you. <laughs> you are welcome. I appreciate you all, too. And thank you, thank you, thank you. And I look forward to bringing you all back to the table. Yes, ma'am. All right. So I would like to give a special thanks to my intern, Sarah, who is now a Tennessee State University alumni. And I would also like to give a special thanks to my intern, Bonteria, who is a student at Winston-Salem State University. You all may follow me on Facebook at Dr. Ashley Little and on Instagram at underscore Ashley A. Little. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Creating Your Seat at the Table, where Ashley speaks with corporate professionals, celebrities, entrepreneurs, authors, and speakers who are transitioning or have transitioned to entrepreneurship. 